Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. In this one I have this uh, Volvo V40. Uh, this is a 2001 model, 2000 model actually. And basically what's happening is um, I'm only getting cold air out of these vents. So even I have this one hot, hot or cold this is blowing cold air from anywhere whatever I put it it just blows cold um, so um, I check the the pipes that go into the uh, into the car these pipes here, these are the coolant pipes, both pipes are hot. So that means the uh, the hot water is getting to the heater matrix and it's coming out of the heater, heater matrix. Um, but the valve that allows to open the flap for the hot air, that's probably what's not working. So we're gonna have a look at that and to access that in this case we're going into the passenger side um, and we need to remove this panel which I've already removed it's just a one Phillips screw holding it then you can pull this panel out completely so we have a better access also, I'm going to remove this other panel here, and this panel just uh, you just need to take again another Phillips screw there. There will be another one there, and there will be another one at the back, but it'll be more like a plastic one like this. And then you can take that cover out as well. And in here, we're going to see um, this valve here. This valve is supposed to operate this linkage here. And that linkage is just not, it's not moving when I move from hot to cold. So I'm going to disconnect the linkage and uh, manually see if I can turn it and then uh, and then see if I get hot air. So I'm gonna disconnect that now. So it might be a little bit difficult to film in here, but ideally I wanna disconnect this little white linkage here. Uh, where is it? There, that one. Try to disconnect it. So I can see if I can turn that manually. Okay, let's come out. And then, I'll see if I could take that plug off it gives me a little bit more room okay so I think this this here this unit is the motor that turns from cold to hot but it could be that is stuck try to I need to try and move it really somehow okay so this is the flap so that's the linkage there that's supposed to turn the flap in there so I just realized if I if I move this flap manually to the other side 
so that's cold and that's actually I can feel the air coming hot so that means this valve here this uh, electric motor okay so I can definitely feel the nice hot air coming through here now so although it's a little bit awkward down here it's definitely this linkage that is in charge of changing the air so that's cold that's hot but means this isn't working so um, where is it here yeah. so I'm gonna have to remove it really um, it looks like to take it out and to change it we need um, to remove a few Phillips screws Maybe a little bit of a fiddle there, really, but there's a Phillips screw here. There's one there. I don't think I'll be able to. Well, maybe just about, but my screwdriver is a bit long and it's at an angle, so I'm, I need something smaller. But there, there might be a couple of those, so I'm going to investigate how to take it out and then get back to this. So using uh, this small wrench with a um, Phillips head, basically, um, I'm I'm just uh, undoing. It looks like there's three screws to remove, from what I can see. There's one there, and then there's another one just here, and obviously one. There's one at the top, so I'm gonna try to get them out. I'm using this little tool, uh, but I need my two hands. And then I'll let you know if it's only three. Okay, it's uh, definitely three, three screws in there. Um, they're a bit long. It's this one's here. Three of them, and that should come out. It might be a bit of a fiddle to try and get the screws out, but but there we are. It is doable. It's just a little bit of um, have a little bit of patience. Looks like a Mitsubishi motor, <laughs> from what I can see. I wonder if we can actually open this and see if the. Uh, little motor in there could benefit from some lubrication because at the moment I can't even turn it by hand but I can see I can open this box let's can try to open it so I'm just gonna open it here I, guess. I can see we can open it from the sides okay I've got it opened This is the arm that moves in there. I don't know if the motor, the motor is okay actually. Maybe I'm going to try and figure this out, how this works. And then I wonder if we can actually get it going again. Okay, so just to manage to figure out how this go. Um, I wire this to the battery and that seems to be to be honest that is working that's one way and then that we have obviously if i reverse this it goes the other way um so what i'm beginning to think now is that the problem might be with the soldering in here the soldering is looking a little bit weak in there
Um, so I'm going to re-solder these bits in there. If you have a soldering iron, you could try these as well, I suppose. Um, so otherwise I can't really find any other faults going on here. So I'm going to try re-soldering that. Um, the only other issue I could think is that the wire coming to here from the control uh, box is not working. Um, I suppose I could try to see if there's any voltage in there. And if there is, then <clears throat> I'm not sure there is a fuse that controls that particular thing there. But uh, so I'm gonna put some. So I'm just gonna put my meter to 12 volts, and um, we have a few wires in here. But if we have any any sort of juice in there then at least we know there is power to this box. Um, I'm going to handle this with one hand. <clears throat> can't really find any power on that but sometimes these work only with the unit actually connected to it so um, I'm gonna try the resoldering first and then uh, I'm gonna plug it back in and see if that helps so I've been doing a little bit more uh, investigating here so I dismantled the whole dash here <laughs> the radio um, is not a difficult one to pull out you just press on these tabs and they pop out and then you can pull the radio out then you unplug it from the back um, and to remove this cover here you have to remove uh, two Phillips screws that will be screwed onto here which, they, which are screwed onto here and there's one Phillips that screw that is going in this hole that is obviously just in there and then there's another two Phillips that are screwed onto here this end and that end in here when you take them out you're able to remove this box um, I've unplugged this box a few times plugged it back in and whatnot um, but it seems like suddenly the little thing started working as you can see it's now moving so that would be the cold position and that would be it's on hot now so now it's moving to hot and cold So I'm not entirely sure what's happened here. Something needed either resetting or maybe this is going a bit faulty. But um, because that motor was working with the battery, I, uh, I sort of didn't think it was faulty. So I put it all together and then uh, dismantled all of this. And now this seems to be It seems like that is working. Let's try this again. Okay, so I got it in a position now and it's not working. That's, that's interesting. All right, so it seems to be some kind of contact. So I, I brought it down again 
and suddenly it's operating again. But if I got it up in this position, if I put it up here, that little thing refuses to work. Be faced here with a, a wiring situation more than any other fault but I will play around a little bit with this um, it, it doesn't well now I know that it's not faulty anyway now I know that's not faulty um, this does seem to operate so occasionally it's going it's, it's working but when I put it back up here it doesn't work and at the moment it's decided to stop working so I'll have to figure that out but um, we'll try to pinpoint what is going on so I think I've narrowed the problem down now um, this is the controller uh, basically I was moving wires and as I move wires the uh, little flap the little motor would start working so I thought there w might be a uh, a broken wire but I couldn't really pinpoint any wire on its own so having um, having done a lot more well spent a lot of time sort of um, finding the continuity of the wires each wire here finding the continuity to the connector of the motor there um all the wires are actually okay they they don't contact doesn't get broken um so now i've concluded or i've dismantled the pc board so the electronic board of the of the unit that controls the little flap and uh, this is where it plugs in at the back so this is where the wires plug in and whenever I pulled or moved a wire, it would make some sort of contact and then start working. So now I have a feeling these contacts, some of them seem a little bit cracked. Maybe from age or whatever. Um, this side, these ones look a lot better. It's really um, hard to see, but I can see little cracks on them. And as a result, I have a feeling that every time I pull on a wire, it's kind of pulling on the little crack and making contact. So I'm going to resolder all of these um, one by one. And then I'm going to um, refit everything and see how, if the, if the flap starts working without me uh, messing around with wires. Okay, so I plugged the unit. Um, I got it got it working um, now now let's uh, just give this a go so that would be the cold position and that would be it's on hot now so now it's moving to hot and cold I hope this video helps you uh, fault finding um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video if I get any updates I will let you know